Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. Today I am going to unbox before you a very rare plant in India known as the pitcher plant or nepenthes. I shall also discuss where to buy them in India and how to take care of them in the Indian climate. I have bought this plant from a person from Assam. He is a distinguished plant seller and a very nice person. I have noticed that these types of carnivorous plants are mainly available with people from the states of Assam and Kerala. The plant has been very nicely and expertly packed as you can see that there is very minimal chance of damage. These plants are expensive as they are rare to find and hence a proper packing is very necessary. I have seen these plant prices range from rupees 700 to rupees 4000 or more for a single plant. I also have some Venus flytraps at my home. I had made a video on how to buy them in India. Do check out the video if you like. I shall leave a link in the description. Now coming back to the topic, this plant cost me around 699 Indian rupees or roughly $8 including shipping. The price is very low for this kind of plants. I am very lucky in that aspect. Normally people sell them from rupees 1000 to rupees 2000. This is a baby plant belonging to the variety Nepenthes Gaya or Nepenthes Gaya Buddha. The condition I have received the plant in is perfect, hence no complaints with regards to packing of the plant. Now let me discuss about how to take care of them and where to find them. Nepenthes Gaya Buddha is a hybrid species that originates from three other species. Cassiana, Ventricosa and Maxima. The Cassiana species originates from India actually. This plant requires a lot of light. They do not like direct sun but needs very strong bright light to grow well. The medium that is best is Cocopeat or Sphagnum moss medium. Here Sphagnum moss has been used. Personally I have seen that Sphagnum moss is well suited as it absorbs a large amount of water to itself. The pot may be plastic made or ceramic made in order to prevent leaching of minerals into the medium. Normal garden soil is not at all suited for this kind of plants. As for water, they prefer the purest form of water that you can provide them. Rain water or distilled water is best suited for them. Watering should be done very often so that the medium does not dry out at any instance, especially in hot summer months. These plants just love moisture around them and hence they grow very rapidly in the monsoon season. Now let me directly show you some of my chats with the seller in order to give an idea about the pricing of these plants. For this variety of Nepenthes mirabilis cross viking seed grown hybrid plant he had quoted Rs 1200. The price of Nepenthes mirabilis was around 1500 Indian rupees. Nepenthes ventrata, a common variety for collectors, was rupees 900 for a small plant and around rupees 1500 for a larger plant. Nepenthes rafflesiana candy stripes, which is a collector's item, cost around rupees 3500 per plant. The beautiful Nepenthes rafflesiana giant variety, which is also a collector's item, cost around rupees 4000. So. This is a rough idea regarding the prices. Now, in order to show you which type of water is most suitable for the plant, I did a small experiment to measure the tedious of water from different sources. I collected municipal tap water, the tedious of which was around 337 ppm, which is quite high. Next, for water from the Ganga river, the tedious was perfect around 157 ppm. For distilled water, it was only 0.04 ppm. The best kind of water for these plants should be having TDS ranging from 0 to 150 ppm. So distilled water is best suited for carnivorous plants. But in case you can't manage distilled water on a daily basis, you can use rain water or water from the Ganges river too. Just make sure tap water is avoided as it normally has a very high TDS. Now, finally the part you have all been waiting for, where to buy this plant. According to my observation, do not buy from any e-commerce website, you will most likely be cheated. These sellers are not at all verified in regards to selling carnivorous plants 
and they will send you absurd things or seeds of other plants. People get most cheated when they try to buy Venus flytrap seeds from these sites. They will send you Jira seeds or something that is black colored and small. So what's the foolproof way of buying these plants? Just join some popular carnivorous plant group on Facebook. Try to join localized groups of your country. There, some reputed sellers will post daily pictures and videos of their plants and most of them will openly quote their prices. Hence, there is less chance of getting cheated. Still, do your due research about the sellers before placing any order as no one will take responsibility in case something adverse happens. Now let me suggest some Facebook groups for you. For Venus Flytraps, you can join the group Venus Flytraps India VFT1. For Nepenthes and other carnivorous plants, the group Carnivorous Plants Community is good. I hope you all found this video informative and enjoyable. Do give this video a like and subscribe. Thank you. Have a great day.